In the long run, optimal experiences add up to a sense of mastery, or perhaps better, a sense of participation in determining the content of life. That comes as close to what is usually meant by happiness as anything else we can conceivably imagine. I developed a theory of optimal experience based on the concept of flow, the state in which people are so involved in an activity that nothing else seems to matter. The experience itself is so enjoyable that people will do it even at great cost for the sheer sake of doing it. Everything we experience, joy or pain, interest or boredom, is represented in the mind as information. If we are able to control this information, we can decide what our life will be like. What we're pointing at is a dynamic that a fellow by the name of Dr. Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi has spent the last 40 years researching and collaborating with other researchers and institutions around the world to study this dynamic of flow and how is it that we have those moments, those experiences of oneness where time disappears and where we experience being connected with whatever it is that we're involved with and through whatever it is we're involved with with all that is. Dr. Csikszentmihalyi, when he was a teenager growing up in uh, Europe after World War II, his aristocratic um, Hungarian family had basically lost everything. And he was fascinated to observe how some people really were destroyed, not just externally, but internally uh, by this uh, experience and uh, turn to all kinds of despair and self-destruction, whereas other people in precisely the same social and economic situation seemed to thrive and seemed to find happiness. And he decided for, with his life he was going to go study happiness and uh, came to the United States, became a psychologist, a professor at the University of Chicago, and a social scientist, and has been extensively studying the question of flow for 40 years now. And this, this is uh, one of Dr. Csikszentmihalyi's charts. What he has uh, discovered over time is that you and I experience anxiety. We experience stress. When it is, up here in quadrant one, uh, when it is that the, um, the challenge is high, but our skills are low. Then in those situations where uh, we experience apathy in quadrant two, that happens when uh, the challenge is low, but our skills are low as well. We just don't care. This transitions over into quadrant three where we experience relaxation and boredom in those situations where our skills are very high, but the challenge is low. We fall asleep. But it is only in those situations where the challenge is high and our skills are likewise high, where we bring together uh, high challenge with high skills that we then have the opportunity to enter what you've heard talked about as the zone, which is where flow happens. And that's the only place where flow happens. And it's that dynamic that keeps us growing, keeps us learning, keeps us evolving, keeps us becoming. And you and I tend to stay in environments where that's happening, and we leave environments where it's not happening. Challenges and skills and flow are very much integrated with who it is that we are as human beings. We are fundamentally flow beings. We flow. We move. We circulate. Every cell in our bodies vibrates. That's what we do. We are flow beings. And flow is always a part of our reality. It's always available to us, but you and I are not always available to it. We disconnect uh, from that dimension, that reality of our lives.